Even in countries where there's a measure of religious freedom, fighters against God have tried to prevent us from carrying out our commission. You need a permit to go from house to house. You can't offer magazines on the street. You people are a dangerous sect. They've even enacted laws directed at stopping our work. Unless they change their ways, those lawmakers are going to be in big trouble. The word has gone out. As you go, preach. That great work will be accomplished with their support or in spite of them. Well, as we mentioned, fighters against God sometimes seem to get away with their acts of rebellion, but they're on a slippery slope. I can't express it better than David did in Psalm uh, 37, 1 and 2. Do not be upset because of evil men or envious of wrongdoers. They will quickly wither like grass and shrivel like green new grass. So, when you hear about powerful opposers who seem to be untouchable, remember what we've discussed. These men may seem to prosper for a while, but since they're fighting against God, they're more to be pitied than to be feared. They're on the wrong side. They are fighting a losing battle. Bueno, Leo, quedaste un poco, un, un poco caliente por el final. ¿Qué mira, bobo? ¿Qué mira, bobo? Anda, anda para allá, bobo. Anda para allá. Tranquilo, tranquilo, Leo.